Hi there, I'm Jackie Partridge from JackiePartridge.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use acrylic paint to create a three-dimensional form, uh, specifically a round form like an egg. Uh, so if you like this video, be sure to like it and you can subscribe and sign up for the notifications when the new videos will be added each week. If you want me to show a full tutorial of how to paint this nest, comment below in the comments and let me know and I'll make the video happen. All right, let's dive in. So again, let me know in the comments if you want me to uh, do a video of this nest painting. But right now I'm just going to show you with acrylic paint how to create this kind of 3D representational form. So we obviously have some shadows that help make our form more 3D. We have some highlights with the white spot. And when we're painting with our brush strokes, we're going to kind of curve it. We're not painting straight across because that's going to make it flat and not uh, three dimensional. So the first time I painted this, I used ultramarine blue, but I'm going to use cobalt blue over top just so you can kind of see a difference with my brush strokes. So I like to start kind of um, with the shadows. So you can take some of your cobalt blue or another blue that you have and you're just going to add some black to it to make it a nice darker blue. And again, kind of start at the bottom and just curve it. So I'm kind of sweeping uh, my brush strokes up in a curved mark. I'm not painting flat across and I'm just keeping that nice curved round edge. And when you're first painting your eggs, I like to draw it with chalk first so that I can get the outline that I'm happy with. And chalk just dusts away um, instead of pencil that sometimes shows through the canvas. So I like to draw my different shapes in my forms in chalk first. That's just a little tip, but since I've already done that, I'm just painting over top. So again, I'm curving and kind of sweeping my brush strokes so that I can kind of capture the round form of the egg. So the first step is to always do the shadows which of course they're going to be at the bottom kind of resting under the egg. So I'm doing that with all of the eggs in your nest and if you want to add four or five you could always add as many as you want. And there's going to be kind of some more shade, shadow here uh, because this one egg is sitting in front of the other. Alright, so we have our shadows. Then we're just going to add a little bit more cobalt blue so it's not so dark but still has some black into it. And we can just kind of layer it over top. Kind of building to our shadow so this is kind of like a mid-tone. And do the same with the other ones. So I'm kind of angling my brush strokes. They're not flat, they're not straight. I'm kind of keeping them curved. And then just our straight blue. So straight cobalt blue. Just 
slightly over. And we can kind of create like this circle shape, which is just going to help keep it nice and round. So I'm just kind of curving my brush stroke like that. Just saving room for where the highlight is going to be. And again, up here as well. And this is just going to make our eggs look more three-dimensional. So you can rinse your brush off sure it's nice and clean and then grab some of your titanium white and mix it with just a little bit of the cobalt blue to kind of add some of our highlights so the tops of the eggs again keeping our egg nice and curved strokes And up in the center and I'm using a small detail brush it's round so it comes to a nice point and if your brush hairs are kind of wonky and a bit all over the place like that um, you can just dip it in a bit of water and it kind of gets a nice point across and then you can fix any mistakes just by adding a bit of water. For me it helps to kind of rest my hand on the canvas so that I can control my brush strokes whereas if you're just kind of holding your hand above you're going to end up with a shaky hand. So as you're kind of transitioning between colors of our dark, our medium, and our light, you can always just use some dry brushing. So make sure your brush is dry, you've rubbed some of the paint off, you don't really have a lot of paint on your brush, and then you can just kind of feather it like this. So just press it lightly against um, the canvas, still going in that kind of curved motion. So 
then we're going to add just a little bit more white to make sure that we have our kind of pure highlighted areas. And you can just kind of map them out first and then you can always blend them later. So then just by adding a little bit of blue to the white to make kind of our lighter blue, then you can go back in and kind of blend areas that are too bright. Just want to kind of blend everything together so that it doesn't look like it's a white blob. And then I'm still curving my brush strokes. You can do a mix of blending with water as well as just dry brushing over top. I think it helps to use a smaller brush and then you can really capture um, some of the shadows and highlights on there. And then you can finish up, you can add some spots to your egg if you want. So you could mix a little bit of brown with um, all three of the primary colors, a little bit of red, yellow, and blue. And then you can spray back your bristles if you want to kind of get some smaller dots on there. Just kind of wipe with your finger anywhere that you don't want those little dots. And just make sure you have a little bit of water on the end of your brush as well to get some splatter marks. And the closer you hold your brush, the bigger the dots are going to be. So there you go. That's how you paint a nice 3D round form. And again, if you want the full video on how to paint this nest, drop some comments below.